Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And this is post local market me in the morning. It is nine o'clock in the morning and I knew that I needed to film a video because I am feeling better. Um, there is still slight congestion, but my chest is feeling a lot better. My lungs rather are feeling a lot better, um, less of the asthma response. Um, but today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to just start off the day with a really fun unboxing from 1617. As always, this video is not sponsored unless I say it's sponsored, um, but I have been affiliated with them for quite a while now, so they do send me products every so often. So I thought it'd be really fun to just show you what they sent me since this box is rather on the large side today. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just pulling everything out of here. So I see some lids of some kind. I guess I will figure out where these go to. So I'm gonna take those out. Here's another lid. This one looks gold. So we got silver and gold lids. Oh. And Let's see what's in this first box right here. I never know what I'm gonna be pulling out or if it's matching. Oof, we have another. I love these styles. I used to not love these styles, but they've really grown on me to be completely honest. Is the style like the apothecary type style jars. Yeah, I just think they're really cute. Now I do prefer the colored ones. Um, over like the clear ones, definitely. Just because I still think, in my head when I think of the clear, I think of um, like a candy holder. But then again, the colored ones can be really pretty candy holders too. Oh, oh yes. This is the Evermore, the white Evermore. And I apologize if I'm not saying the exact correct name of it or the color. I feel like I always mess up on the color of it but I will have it pop up when I show exactly what it is. Um, I just love the Evermore jars, and I know that I need to think about adding in a larger size to my collection because I feel like having a slightly small or a slightly larger size um, would do actually pretty well if people were able to get like a really large one if they really like a scent. Um, cause there's been times where people are just like, oh, I wish that you had a bigger one because I just, you know, they burn it every single day, all day long. Oh, I see gold. Oh wait, no, no, I can't see. I did not see gold. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh, look at, I'm just thinking about, I, I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen this size, like this t type of tumbler. These are always funny. My face is always so funny in this. But the way that that looks with the wood lid is actually really cool. I like this. Wow. So I'm just looking at the shape of it. It's kind of like a big, let's see the difference. So it tapers down a little bit more, but it is taller. So I was just trying to see the, the difference in that. And of course I'll look up the sizes and like what they're called and everything. I never like to look and see what I'm gonna be getting. I just prefer surprises. I really like surprises, so I didn't want to look and see what I was gonna be getting. All right, so we got a larger, oh, we got a larger one to the smaller, smaller one right here. I really like when companies offer different sizes of the same kind of vessel, because I feel like if you're trying to go with that cohesive brand look, it makes it really helpful to be able to get things that look similar. Ooh, I love these, the ruby red. Oh, it's perfect for like Halloween and Christmas time. Oh, I've always wanted to like go out of the box and do something really kind of not like my brand in terms of what I have available and just do something crazy like this for the holidays. Like how amazing would cranberry harvest be in this vessel? I just, I just love these kind of vessels so much. Again, never used to like them until 1617 
had these available and then I just kind of fell in love with that style jar and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, we got another one. <gasps> it's black. Look at this. I'm like tapping. Just did an ASMR video, so I'm like thinking about tapping on everything. Ooh, that'd be a fun idea for an ASMR video. Would be an unboxing video. I'm just tapping. I don't have my Blue Yeti mic, but oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous this is with the wood lid. This is beautiful. I hadn't seen these styles yet of these jars, um, but I really like I really like the style of these jars. I don't know if I like them as much as the Evermore, just because the Evermore just is probably my all-time favorite vessel, even over my Cali jars and um, the Tens, which is so funny because those are the ones that I use. Um, but I just love the Evermore jars so much. I, I really like the larger diameter. It's like a 3.5 inch diameter. And it's also a little bit short. Let me see actually in comparison. So, you know, it's actually about the same height, but I really like how this one, one holds more and two, the diameter is very large. I really like larger diameter jars. It's something that I learned. I don't know if that's because you can double and or triple wick a vessel that's like a bigger diameter. And maybe that's just more appealing to me. Oh, we got yellow. Immediately I think of, oh, my face. Uh, immediately I think of um, my uh, best friend, her, one of her really good friends, she loves yellow. So every time I see a yellow vessel, I'm like, oh, maybe I can make her a candle. Um, Cause that's always fun to specifically make candles for certain people and they just love it. And they'll like wanna get refills and stuff like that for candles. Um, using the same jars. Ooh, is it purple or blue? We got blue. Ooh, I love the contrast. The contrast between these two together. I never end up pulling these out in order, like the same style jars, just different colors. Ooh, but I'm kind of on a roll with these ones though. Red, orange, ooh, oh. This is, I, I don't know if this is on camera, it totally looks red. In person, I don't know if it's just because of the lighting in my house right now, but it looks almost like an auburny, orangey, brownish kind of red. Again, I can't tell if that's because of the lighting in here right now, but it's very fall. Definitely like a very fall kind of color. It's not like a red red. It's, I don't think so. No. It's like an orangey, reddish, brownish, maybe. I'd have to look on the website to really see what kind of color it is. Because in person, again, I can't tell if it's the lighting. <laughs> can't tell if it's the lighting in here. Do we have another one? Ooh, oh my gosh. I feel like so many of you are gonna love this right now. This is white with the wood lid. I actually think that this one looks the best out of all of them. I'm just a sucker for neutrals, black, white, yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe some grays, depending on the jar. Um, I just, I love this so much. This is beautiful. Wow. This is really nice. I could totally see it. I'm like picturing a label and everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, this could totally take on so many different label sizes and looks and be really upscale. I could see this being a candle that could, could sell for like over $50 if you really branded it really good. Um, absolutely beautiful. Maybe even higher than that, honestly. Okay, what color do I think this is? We got like, you know what? Maybe this is more red. I don't know. I'm gonna, it looks red on camera, doesn't it? It kind of looks orangey though. Um, so we got reddish orange. We got purple, black, blue, yellow, white. I'm gonna say pink or green. Uh, completely wrong. Absent of color. <laughs> completely wrong. This is clear. Uh, no, like a frosted. This isn't clear. This is frosted. Gosh, these remind me so much of the Cali jars, like a bigger version of the Cali jars. I don't know the, I don't know if because these ones, you know what, maybe it does, these are bigger. 
These are definitely bigger. I'm like trying to think if it's actually bigger. It's definitely bigger. I actually really like the look of this. They've had a lot of kind of the frosted look and um, why is this not focusing? It's only wanting to focus on my face. Um, the, a, a lot of the frosted look and like the um, West Coast jars and stuff like that. Um, which I actually, I wasn't sure how I felt about it in the very beginning, um, just because my taste in vessels can be, I don't know, for the longest time it was just very boring. <laughs> if it wasn't this, I was like, eh, I don't know about it. And ever since 16, 17, I swear they've kind of opened my eyes to so many different kinds of vessels that I really like. And, um, so I'm very happy that I'm not just stuck in my ways. Ooh, okay. So if I would have opened up the other one <laughs> when I said, oh, clear. So this absolutely, if you've ever seen at California Candle Supply, the Cali jars, this almost looks identical to it. Oh my gosh. I, I really want to make a candle out of this and see how it does. I think, I wonder what the diameter of the top of this is. I'm so curious. I'm like trying to compare it to Okay. It seems a little bit bigger. Cuz it seems like I can almost put Well, maybe it, you know, maybe it's similar. I can't tell cuz this glass looks thicker. This glass compared to this glass is way more heavy duty, way more heavy duty. I can tell. I can tell just by looking at it and feeling it, the thickness of it. Yeah, the thickness of this is, I don't know millimeters, but it's definitely thicker than the Cali jars. I wonder if they're thinking about getting this in matte black. Hmm. I mean, honestly, when I first got started with my candle business, I wanted to have this be the look. I wanted it to be clear jars with a wood lid, which I still think is a beautiful jar and a look. And I've had different ideas. I actually recently, earlier this year, I got a spark of wanting to change up my entire labels. And I um, put, I used one of these jars and I put the label on this and I showed Chris and I was like, look at how nice this looks. And he goes, yeah, that does look really nice. He's like, but everybody knows your brand of what it looks like right now. So, then I was like, you're right. I don't want to just up and change it all. This is kind of, you know, the look that I've had. And I still love my label designs and everything. But I'm thinking about putting that label design that I had created on my Etsy shop for you to purchase and use for your labels if you are interested in that. Because I still have that in my Canva account. And it's just sitting there not doing anything. And I spent probably about half a day designing that on one day just my spark of focus on that. Oh, okay, so I think I did guess green, right? Oh, this is like a greenish teal. <gasps> Look at how beautiful. I was like looking at it in person, but then seeing it on camera is completely different. I'm like trying to get my face out of this. <laughs> Thinking about which one I'm gonna use for the thumbnail. Okay, uh, is this the last one? Okay, I think there's one more in here and then I did go and grab a fragrance because they sent this to me separately. So I want to make sure that I include that in here. This technically is part of the unboxing. What color do I think this is? I'm not even gonna guess. Ooh, is this pink? <gasps> it's pink. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at how gorgeous. I'm like, I always like to do really pretty pinks in the thumbnail but I also don't know if I want to do it because of how funny my face looks in this, but this is really, really pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Okay, and this last one is this fragrance. So this is Grand Domi, D-O-M-M-E with a little tilde. So let me have you see that. That's what this looks like. So this is bergamot, lavender, Katerina, tobacco, and balsam fir. I feel like I'm gonna freaking love this one. I love all of those. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This may be one of my favorite scents that I smelled from them. 
Okay, so you definitely get that masculine. And I could say, I'm gonna be very specific like I always am. I'm gonna say, it smells like a dude that just took a shower on Christmas morning. That's your description for this. <laughs> because you definitely get that balsam fur coming in, but the bergamot lavender tobacco, it kind of adds in this fresh, clean, masculine, mixed with like a little bit of that balsam fir pine. So like taking a shower Christmas morning, it's like the, you know, like you get like the lingering smell in the shower of like the body wash and all that kind of stuff. That's your description for that because that's exactly what that smells like. And that is it for this unboxing. A huge thank you to 1617 for sending all of these to me. I really just, I love vessels so much, who doesn't? Like seeing all of these, getting different ideas. And I love sharing it with you because even though I've chosen a lot of my vessels, it doesn't mean that I'm completely unopened to adding in any other kinds of vessels. And I know that so many of you are also kind of in the beginning stages. So being able to see all of these in person, well, you know, on camera, a person holding it, you know what I mean, um, might be very helpful for you in deciding what kind of vessels that you want to add to your candle line. But with that, I think I am going to end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.